Today we'll make a rustic romantic valentine sign. Keep watching. We're going to start off with glue stick, of course. Going to take some picks of your choice. I just have some eucalyptus here that from came from the thrift store. I've got some roses and this heart pick that came from Dollar Tree. Here are some heart doilies from Dollar Tree in the Valentine section. This bag is a wedding bag, I believe, and it just came from the regular bag section in Dollar Tree. And this is a sign, Valentine sign, which looks cute enough as its own, you know, on its own. But we're going to fix it up, give you some options. So first off, we're going to choose which side of the bag that we want, and it's usually easier to do the side, in my opinion, that is flat and doesn't have the bend in it. So I'm just trying to take the bag apart a little bit. This doesn't matter if it tears. I just want to have a little bit easier access to cut a bigger opening. So I'm going to lay this out flat and trim out the section that I want to use. If you want to leave the sides on there to carry it all the way across, you can since there's a print on it, but I didn't want to do it that way. I've got another plan for that. So then you decide where you want to put your doilies and I am just going to put mine kind of staggered down the front of this sign. Well, it's actually the back of the sign and I think I will put my bag picture right there in the center or close to the center okay more problems with the glue stick it's coming out really goopy I don't know what's going on but that's okay it, it's easy to wash off so I'll just use my hands where I need to to be a messy crafter now rather than going all over the board I just want to make sure that I have enough to stick down and then I want to Put it down to hold it and then go around the edges just lift up where it's not stuck down and just add your glue around those edges that way you don't have a big mess on the outside there we go and then we're going to just do this down the front be sure that you make sure that your layers are thin that you just have one layer and you're not picking up two you don't want anything falling apart later I have mine arranged so that they hang over the sides and I'll be removing that excess. I guess you could leave it if you wanted to, but these doilies are a little on the fragile side and they would probably pick and tear snag on things, so probably best just to trim it off. So I have my trusty sanding block that was sent to me by one of my viewers. And I am going to just gently trim this off. I sped it up a little bit. Okay, if you have any pieces sticking up, just press them gently back down. Because you still have that glue on there and it's still a little bit damp. Find the placement of your bag. Go ahead and add your glue all over the back of your bag, all the way down, especially to the corners and edges. and then place that down. When I placed mine down, I did not place it on there exactly centered. That's okay, that won't be an issue because I'm going to use a border around there. So it'll be all right. Don't discourage if you make little boo-boos along the way. With crafting, you can usually fix anything. And sometimes they end up being the happiest of mistakes. All right, I've got some rope from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use my pliers to cut it because it's very thick. And I'm going to make a border around here. This is going to give it some dimension. It's going to look 3D and it's going to act as a frame. So to keep it from unraveling, I've just put a little glue on the edge and then twisted it to make those strands stay together. If it's crooked, just go ahead and make your straight line. The thickness of this rope 
will allow you to overlap slightly onto that picture to give you a nice even edge if you need to do that. Be sure you put glue in that corner and hold that down for a minute so that it doesn't come loose and it will keep its shape for you. You don't want to pull, you just want to guide it and lay it down. Don't pull it. And you're just going to continue that all the way around. I think this gives it a very nice rustic look and then the wood grain of the bag also does the same. Plus you have the romance of the little lacy doilies in the background. I just think it's really pretty and fitting for a farmhouse rustic decor. Just removing the spider webs from the glue. And then I'm using my little full nose pliers here to cut it and then trim it with the scissors. Add a little glue there, twist it and push it down and keep it from fraying. Now I'm just going to take this oak marker, this is a furniture marker, and just dot in the white that's under there because it was really standing out to me. Now it just looks like the background. We're going to make a little pocket on the bottom. It's only stuck on the sides, so you're going to wrap it around the back and then place it on the sides. Just a little line of glue there. So you have an open top and an open bottom. And I'm going to make a little bouquet to put on the bottom and it'll be removable. So I'm going to cut off a few of these heart picks and some of the roses. These are such a pretty color. They're a very pale peachy pink, I think. Really good quality for Dollar Tree. I don't care for the foliage that's on there, but you know, for what we pay at Dollar Tree, you really can't complain. We're going to hide most of that greenery anyway. So now just start making your little bouquet in your hand, just like you would a regular bouquet. I'm going to tuck in my greenery, greenery. I'm, <laughs> the word is greenery. Yeah, I'm going to put the green stuff amongst the staggered roses. We got different heights there just because I put them in my hand that way. And then you can put your pick in at this point or you can wait. I'm going to take a little bit of green Chanel stem, wrap that around the bottom, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the burlap ribbon, there it is, and wrap that around. So when it's removed, if you decide you want to remove it, it looks nice, finished, and neat. Plus, if you use the burlap here, it helps give it a little grip on the other piece of burlap ribbon, which, by the way, those pieces came off of a roll from Dollar Tree. You can decide which side you want to put your arrangement on. Since I usually go to the left side, I decided to put it on the right side this time. And see, it holds it nicely. No problem. You have the freedom to move it around. It's not going to fall out. Now we're going to make a bow. These Strips of ribbon are about two inches shorter than the one before it. So this is going to be a stacked bow. I'm going to put the largest layer on the bottom, then the next layer on top of that, and the next layer on top of that. Stack them. We're going to make a little loop to go in the center. So we're just going to take a short section, make a little loop. Watch your fingers. Glue goes right through this and it is hot. Thus the name hot glue. Okay, so we're gonna put that right in the center. Take a piece of jute cord or whatever you have because you won't be able to see it. Twist it onto the back, pinch it in the center and give it a good couple of knots going to hold it in place. So I'm folding it there just to make sure before I secure it down that my sides are equal. That's all I was doing with that. So now I'm just playing around with the bow and the wire in here helps it hold its shape. So that's that's really great with this wire. I mean with this ribbon rather. Looks like somebody needs more coffee this morning. Can't speak. 
All right, so we're going to make the tails now by just cutting another length. That's about a 10 inch strip of ribbon, pinching it in the middle, folding it down. I'm going to dovetail it, glue it on the back in the center of that bow, right where you tied it. Hold it for a minute or two. I edited that out. Be sure that you hold it in place, let the glue get cool, and then it'll stick. All right, so here I go with a, a heart, and I'm going to place this down in the little bouquet bundle. You can use one of these, you can use two of these, you can put them wherever you want. After Valentine's, you can easily remove those picks out of there. They're not glued in. I'm gonna take one of these rosebuds and a little piece of this eucalyptus and add it right to the top. A little bit of hot glue will hold it to the back of that bow. Nicely. Flip it over. You're going to make a little jute hanger. This is the way I do most of them and I did not protect my fingers, and I should have, so you protect yours. So now we have our little hanger, and it'll be underneath where that is, where that flower is. What do you think? I think it's very pretty, and I'm liking the peachy colors for Valentine's Day, I think, a little bit better than the, I don't really care for the fuchsia and the really bright stuff, so you'll probably see a little bit of pink in what we're doing here on my channel. Thanks to all my subscribers. We are at 403 subscribers. Be sure you share and like this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye.